Your morning starts from um, a scream. But the young bleji, which means uh, get up horse. I think it's going to be specifically difficult for Brittany because uh, she doesn't know Russian language and she cannot learn about the law that she has to obey in penal colony and she cannot protect herself. The worst thing in penal colony is witnessing um, deaths of others around you and not being able to do anything. People die from hard physical labor and um, in inability to access medical treatment that they need. But uh, you're just another prisoner and you can't do anything about it. You just have to witness this cruelty and know that something like that can happen with you as well. In Russian penal colony, you wake up at 6 a.m., then you work for 16 hours a day. You sew police uniforms. They turn other prisoners against you. They will punish everyone else in a penal colony. Let's say take away their warm clothing from them. Um, and they will tell them, openly that it happened because of her. This all happened because of Brittany. Also, Brittany's queerness can be another reason why uh, prison guards might make fun of her or ridicule her for who she is. The most important thing right now is to minimize trauma that she will endure during this period of time. Thinking about your loved ones who wait for you and who need you, um, do not give up on your life. Things like finding a beautiful flower and <laughs> thinking that this beautiful flower was able to grow in this terrible, terrifying conditions in this um, nightmarish world was able to keep me um, keep me alive um, and do not lose belief that there will be life outside of penal colony. My hope for Brittany is um, that she will go home as soon as possible and will endure as less trauma as, um, as possible in her scenario. Um, I really look forward to her to reunite with her family.